it's time for some bass smashing action. Hey guys, what's going on? It is uh, November at this point. We're getting ready to put the boat away. Didn't get it out as much as I wanted to this year, but we're starting a new video series. This is the first day that we're gonna be working on what we've dubbed the Sea Hag. It's a 16 foot toughie. It's got a 50 horse tiller on it. it got a 9.9 without a prop. Um, and as you can see, it's in, it's in pretty bad shape. The carpet's all coming off. It's all full of their standing water. And it's pretty much just a mess. Flat tires. This is all, I went to open this the other night. Ugh, all kinds of gunk in here. So, my brother and I are gonna start tearing it apart and see if we can rebuild it. But today is the first day we're just gonna start ripping all the carpet off, taking the seats out, taking the covers off, or all these guys. Um, see what all is in here. The plan is to pretty much gut the whole thing my understanding is that it's fiberglass underneath, so we should be able to just strip it all out, all the stuff out, um, clean it real good. Probably have to do, like, learn how to do some electrical. I wasn't going to have a project this year because money's a little tight. My neighbor Kim uh, um, actually told me her dad was getting a new boat. <clears throat> this has been sitting in the yard for, I would guess, about eight years. It's just been sitting out collecting stuff. So he let it go for 800 bucks, three three payments, you know, I ran the payments out over three months. So I got the boat, the trailer, the motors, you know, the trolling motor, assuming everything works and like the motors aren't seized up, um, pretty good deal for 800 bucks. But today is, again, this is the first day we're going to be working on it. I'm going to try to tape every step along the way this time. I, I did... Uh, Several follow-up videos on the John boat kind of after the work was done. We're gonna try to get some cameras out here as we're working on this one and see if we can see if we can get it functional for next spring. So that's about it. But again, we've dubbed her the, the Sea Hag for now. And when we brought it home, we barely got it home, but one of the tires, uh, my neighbor Bill, Kim's husband, actually brought a compressor with him. Um, he works at a he works at a shop, so he's used to going and picking up vehicles and stuff. And fortunately, he brought it because these tires are so dry rotted; they're completely wasted. The owner filled it up with like 40 pounds a week earlier, and it was just completely flat. We got it about halfway up, and we kind of hobbled home. Uh, it was not graceful, but but so that's it. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna start pulling it apart today and see see what we find. And then we'll go from there, I'll keep uh, we, the goal today is to get it. To get it uh, cleaned out enough, we're gonna we're gonna park this guy over in the shed in the back, I think, and then we're gonna bring this guy in. But I am not bringing that in the garage until we get you know all the raccoons and stuff out of it. So. Away we go. This is video one of several. Um, check back in a lot. Make sure you head over to the site, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Yeah, I should just see a